my friend and welcome back. My name is Hannah and today, um, another get ready with me. I don't know. I, uh, I have been feeling very stressed out about content making lately and right now doing get ready with me is, is just scratching an itch that I need to scratch. So that's what I'm going to do. So if you're curious about what I'm wearing on my face, what I mentioned in today's video and what I'm doing in other pockets of the internet, I always have links in the description box down below. So don't forget to check them out. Um, none of my links are sponsored or affiliated and I do not copy and paste anybody else's sponsored or affiliated links. So if you do shop my links down below, you are shopping clean links. Um, but let's, <laughs> I am getting home from work. Um, usually I do my brows and my mascara, so I kind of already have that on. Um, but I need to drink more water. I have dehydration, acne, and like dry, like my skin is beat up because I haven't been drinking water. So, um, that's that. Uh, so let me start with my primer. I don't know. What am I going to go in with? I'll go in with, I'll go in with this. Mm, I'll go in with the novel one because then that'll at least, I don't know, do something nice to my skin. Um, I don't know guys, I have been kind of setting up stuff for school and it's been, it's been two things. Um, it's been the most easiest thing in my life, but also the most complicated. Um, I do get financial aid for schooling, but it doesn't, I don't get like the full financial aid. Like it only covers a small portion. I mean, I think that's for anybody getting financial aid. Um, I am going to a trade school, so it's not like the um, standard or I don't know, I guess a stereotypical like university experience. And I qualify for two types of loans, the ones that charge you or the ones that you have to pay during school and then the ones that you don't have to start paying until like a few months after you finish school. So, I mean, there's that. I do have to do a big down payment and I went to my uh, credit union and try to get a personal loan and I was told when I was refinancing my car that for the amount I was asking for in my credit score, I would most likely be approved. And then I found out that I wasn't approved. So, you know, I'm like, oh my God, how am I gonna pay rent, pay bills and do the things, you know, um, and buy groceries. <laughs> next month because I, I have to do that down payment to start school and school starts June 6th for me. Um, I don't know if like I can do half a payment now and then the other half of the payment um, at the end of the month like because I, I only I work for a school district and so I only get paid once in a month. Um, so I have to, I have to make that paycheck last for my whole month. And that's the frustrating part. That's the part that stresses me out. Um, I've already done my brows. Am I going to do anything with my eyes? Um, I'll just rub some eyeshadow in there, I guess. But other than that, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just a little stressed out, I guess, because I, um, I have to pay that in full. I basically owe the school like $3,000. You know, and that's just what my financial aid won't cover. Um, and then I have to do a down payment of $1,600. So again, I don't know if I need to pay that in full or if I can split that up because it doesn't start until June 6th. And I mean, if I do half now and then do the other half when I get paid next, like I'll get paid before, I don't know. It's fine. You know what? It's fine. I'm just going to pay it. And if I don't have groceries for a little bit, I'll live. I don't know. I'll, I'll just be thinner, I guess. Oh, that's so terrible. I don't want to encourage, um, eating disorders, but I mean, I've kind of lived that life too. <sighs> you know, just not having money is just, I hate capitalism. There's that. Um, I don't know, but other than, you know, not getting the financial aid stuff, um, I did do like, I had to do like a placement test and it was basically like a literacy test and it was 10 questions and it was really simple. It was questions like, what does compliant mean? And they were all multiple choice. And one was like, what is a gram? Like a form of measurement. Um, 
what does it mean to assess and like if you mix yellow and blue together what does that what color does that create and it was super easy and then there was like an essay format where the prompt said um, answer as many questions as you'd like and or as many prompts down below as you'd like and there's three of them one the first one was uh, what why do you want to join the program and uh, how do you plan on being a excellent student and what do you plan to do um, once you graduate and then it was like your score you're, you're gonna be scored based on how many prompts you answer how long your paragraphs are and I don't know it was it was kind of funny because then they're grading my test right in front of me and they left me in an office and they closed the door there's no camera in there and they're like just don't use your phone to look up the answers but you totally could have cheated on that like they really made it so like it would be incredibly difficult to not pass and um the way that they were so shocked and surprised that I got like 10 out of 10, like I don't, do I look stupid? Do, do the people that apply for this program, like are, are, do they, do they look stupid? Like, are you considered stupid if you want to do this kind of program? Like, I'm just, I'm just trying to understand because these, these counselors and, and financial aid lady that I talked to, they, they were very sweet to me and they were very kind. And it's not like they said like, oh my gosh, you passed, like this is really great. Like we haven't seen like a an ACE test like this in a long time. I, I don't think that they were saying that to be like mean to me or mean to the other people that have applied to and been in the program. Um, but it definitely like, you know, it's kind of like backhanded. Um, so I was just very like, that drive home was kind of long because I just kept thinking like, who, who fails that test? And I mean, I don't know, I have test anxiety. So like being the ordeal that it was for me to get my driver's license was insane. And it wasn't because like, you know, I don't know, I'm not a bad driver. I'm actually a very good driver. I'm a very safe and defensive and cautious driver. Um, I, I, I don't play around. Uh, but you know, having someone watch you and judge you like the, the anxiety it gives me to have someone like over your shoulder or like to pass the test, like if you don't pass this test, that means you're like not good enough kind of thing. That kind of thing like really gets in my head and then it really feeds into like, you know, like the, the bad voices in your head. Um, and I, so I was just feeling a little bit nervous and you know, I remember calling the school and asking, oh, when I come in for this test, do I need to like bring a calculator? Cause I just wanted to be prepared, you know? And they're like laughing and they're like, no, it's like really not that big of a deal. And it isn't, it wasn't that crazy, but you know, like, I don't know, again, as someone who has like test anxiety, I didn't want my test anxiety to be the reason that I didn't get into this program. Because I don't know, that's like my biggest fear is that like, I don't know, I wasn't smart enough to get into that program. Um, and anyway, it seems like it was fine. So it's like not that big of a deal, but I was really like panicking. Um, I also just wanna point this out because I do, you know what? Actually, I'm gonna film this get ready with me and then I should have a um, no buy check-in and my wish list and basically my end of the month stuff. Cause I forget that like when this posts, it will be the end of the month. I did buy this ABH magnetic palette and you're, you guys, I didn't have a magnetic palette. I've had this single highlight since like 2019 and it had just been chilling and it's like little plastic, like little slip thing. Um, so now it has a home, but look at this yellow. I know it looks kind of great. They do have a green one, but this yellow one, it's like the cyberpunk yellow. So I had to get it. I wanted to originally get the green one, but I got the yellow one. They also have a pink one and I almost got both of them, but then, you know, I had to remind myself, I don't need two magnetic palettes when I have three singles. I'll be fine. And I mean, it's not like I'm gonna be buying anything anytime soon because I'm gonna be broke going to school. So go me. Um, all that, all the, the few pennies that I saved during my no buy um, are is just gonna go into school and paying bills um that's sick you know love that for me but it's going to better my life and i'm gonna be happier so i can't be too
upset about it. It's going to be okay. It's going to be fine. Um, do I want to do anything to my face? I will do a little bit of... I'll do a little bit of the Fenty eavesdrop. I've been really enjoying the Fenty eavesdrop with my fingers. Um, so there's that. I have, okay, this is shade nine. I think I originally had shade eight. I think shade nine is more of like my summer tone. I don't know, like it's, it's hard to say what my tone is. I don't know, I feel like I'm always like in a changing state. I can never figure it out, but here we are. Um, I, what else is going on with me besides school? Um, my new boss has started and work is fine. I am noticing that I am fine. Like I am finding myself like having a lot of downtime at work and I don't know if my coworkers are paying attention to that. I just, I don't know. I work with like boomers basically and they're in the mindset of like when you're at work, you have to be working every minute that like the your shift starts at this time so you have to be in 10 minutes beforehand you know like when you cut like when your shift starts like you should be deep into work already and you know i'm of the mindset of my shift starts at that time so that's the time that i'm obligated to walk through this goddamn door <laughs> if you're a boss and oh my god if you're a boss and you're getting mad at people for not showing up 10 minutes early to their shift i need you to relax on god truly um, it's not it's not that crazy but here's the thing the things that I take care of in my shift can be taken care of in that six hour period and then the tasks that the other secretary although our job descriptions are exactly the same we're supposed to do the exact same things she's there for eight hours so she has more time to do all of the other like paperwork and things like that like I don't get extra time in my shift you know like it is what it is um, but that's fine. I'm not, I'm not even mad. I'm just gonna, it's fine. I'm just gonna let my boss do his thing. Um, because like, I don't know, my, technically my shift or like my, con like I'm a, I'm a, an, I am an 11th month employee. So for the month of July, I'm technically unemployed, but I will be doing summer enrollment, which is in the office right next door. I did it last year. They won't pay me my secretary salary, but I will get like something, which is better than nothing. The only downside is that like, um, they start at a later time. So I would be getting out later and it would be an eight hour shift kind of thing. So I will basically be at work and then directly from work, we'll have to go off to school. Like I did. I can't, I can't mess around um, because I'll be late. And according to like the counselor or technician um, at the school, like you can't miss a day. They don't have makeup days and they don't allow late clocks. So I'm like, oh, that's wonderful. Love that for me. Um, I have to drive one of the busiest freeways in California. You know, it's like the only roadway that takes you from California to Las Vegas. And like that shit gets crazy every weekend because every weekend people are going to Vegas, um, especially now that it's getting warmer and like summer vacation is right around the corner and all the like Coachella's and things. Um, and it's like the only highway that like takes you into the desert basically. But it's fine. You know what? I used to work at Disneyland and I used to have to take the five. So I've done th I've done that crazy traffic. It, it's just like looking, it's like Goku looking Vegeta in the eyes. And it's just like, you know what? I've already defeated you once. I don't care if you're gold now. I'll still kick your ass. So that's the mentality I have to have. You know, I am the same prince. I guess I'm not Goku. I guess I'm Vegeta. So there's that. Um, I have this new blush that I want to play with. Um, uh, it was gifted to me. It is the Rare Beauty Lick Soft Pinch Blush. This is a full size, um, but this is in the shade Virtue. I think this is one of the limited edition shades. So here we are. Um, and I know you're only supposed to go in with a dot because it's very pigmented. I'm gonna use this fluffy brush to 
pat and blend it out. Oh, I'm nervous. Oh, I'm nervous. You just have to work it in because even with the mini ones, I feel this way. Like I get nervous about it and it's like very pigmented and then it kind of like sinks into the skin and disappears. I think it's fine. One dot is enough. One dot is all you really need. That's fine. Maybe it doesn't help that I have the red light on this side, but it is what it is. Okay. Um, I think it's really cute. I, I like Rare Beauty as a brand. I, you know, they're, I'm not very interested in their eyeshadow palettes or anything like that, but I think as far as like complexion products go, I think they got it down perfect. Um, I'll use the highlighter I've been liking. You know what? I did... I think in my last video, I was kind of like shit talking um, this product. Ooh, that might be a little bit too much. Um, but you know what? For for the highlight, I think I like it. Because you know what? I've been forcing myself to use it. And I found myself kind of just reaching for it at this point. Like I don't have to think about it. Um, I don't think I mind it. I think it's okay. Like I said, there is that little bit of a cast, but it's not that bad. I don't know. Maybe I won't like it next month. Who knows? And then what am I going to do for my lip? I guess I'll just use this Rare Beauty, um, balm. And that's it. So that's kind of what's been going on with me. That's my school update. Um, I'm going to try my best to at least have some pre-filmed content so I can post regular, regularly throughout the week. I might have to take my videos from like three times a week, maybe two times a week. I don't know. We'll see. We'll gauge. We'll play with it. Let me know in the comments down below what some of your thoughts and opinions are. Like maybe what's a schedule that you would like to see. Um, I don't know. Are you also like not getting accepted for personal loans from your credit union and it's stressing you out and you also need to drink water because your skin's dehydrated? Um, I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below. I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions. And if you liked hanging out with me today and you would like to see more, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. My battery is dying, so I don't know where it cut off. But hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already so you don't miss out on another video. And I will see you guys tomorrow for one of my end of the month videos. I don't know which one it's going to be, but it's going to be one of them. So check it out. All right, guys. I'll see you later. Bye.